Oh my goodness, guys. Can you believe it? We actually did it. We hit 100k subs on the YouTube channel. I cannot believe it. Uh, that is actually insane. So, thank you. Thank you all so much. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words right now. So, yeah, video. Here we go. Number one. If you slag a loot midget while they're in the air, they will land and become unslagable, making them much harder to kill. Number two. Constructors, bar tanks, and spider tanks all make a skull with crossbones shaped explosion when defeated. Number three. If you are in the backseat of a bandit technical and travel to an area that doesn't allow vehicles, you will spawn in the map dead. Number 4. The Leviathan's stomach map is actually part of the Leviathan's lair if you scan to the far left. Number 5. In Sanctuary, you can shop for guns from Marcus. What you may not know is that you're actually opening a gun vendor that's hidden out of bounds. Number 6. If you stand close to the bone structure outside of the rest of this arena, his hand will start glowing. Number 7. You can kill your own vehicle and activate kill skills. Number 8. After riding the elevator up to Dragon's Keep, a dragon will glitch out under the platform. Number 9. Also, if you ride the elevator up and jump off at any time, you will automatically be warped back up to the top. Number 10. At Windshear Waste, all mission waypoints will be displayed at the start of the map even though they don't lead anywhere. Number 11. The Hyperion chest by the Torg Arena spawn will always contain a common rarity Torg shotgun. Number 12. Wearing an amp shield while in a vehicle will pass on the amp bullets to your vehicle. Number 13. When you arrive at Tundra Express for the first time, you can shoot off the snowman's head and get a free tinderbox pistol. Number 14. Despite being manufactured by Torg, the Big Boom Blaster has a doll skin. Number 15. When you drive into an enemy, you deal non-elemental damage. When you boost into an enemy, you deal explosive damage. Number 16. In the Rust Church, the developers didn't add textures to one of the boats by spawn. Number 17. The standard number dial is wrong on vending machines. Number 18. All Bruiser enemies have a floating piece on their left side. Number 19. There are hidden portraits of Spatula Khan at Dragon Keep and Ellie Scratch. Number 20. Borg vendors display 80085 on the screens. I'm sure you know what that spells. Number 21. Chief Naguatu's staff has a sad face on the skull. This is also seen on the pirate chest. Number 22. Zero's deception hologram dies when thrown by the door by the Holy Spirit. You are also given the option to talk to your hologram, but nothing happens. Number 23. If you jump off a ladder and gun check while falling, you will gun check with one gun. Number 24. If you dig up the graves by the church over at the dust, you can find one that has a volleyball with a bloody handprint on it. This is a reference to the movie Castaway. Number 25. Geysers inflict one corrosive damage on enemies and the player. 
Number 26, Elemental Relics will boost the damage that barrels do. Number 27, if you start a duel, you can face lock Johnny Waffles over in Sanctuary. Number 28, if you spec in the board with Zero and unspec, you can still shoot through enemies. You will not receive a damage bonus though. Number 29, there is a floating door outside the sanctuary once it's in the air. Number 30, if you're fast enough, you can actually take Big Bertha before Boom does. Number 31, Zero's velocity skill and Maya's accelerate skills share the same look. This also goes for Zero's one-shot one-kill skill and Salvador's inconceivable skill. Otherwise, all other character skills have their own unique picture. Number 32, flat off barrel pistols retain their turn position in their inventory. Number 33, if you spawn a loot midget and leave the map, you can come back and he will drop to level 2. Unfortunately, they will not drop anything but ammo and health. One less badass. Number 34, there is a picture of the Claptrap Revolution hidden on the back of the Claptrap stash as well as some other random messages. Number 35, at Frostburn Canyon, there is an error screen that states that you've ruined your computer by looking at too much porn. Number 36, after beating the Tina DLC, the water still splashes a red color. Number 37, there's a picture of Nyan Cat on all the respect stations. Number 38, the welcome sign at Winter Waste will display different messages if you wait long enough. Number 39, over at the Holy Spirits, there's a bear sitting in a chair. If you spin it multiple times, it will spawn money. Number 40, if you go to Terminus after you complete the Hammerlock DLC, you can throw your deception through the barrier and trigger the end DLC cutscene again. Number 41, if you get a drunk effect with the Grog Nozzle with Krieg, you can actually throw a bunch of buzz axes for a short amount of time. Number 42, if you spec in a Gemini with Axton, you can infinitely deploy your second turret as long as your first one doesn't die. Number 43. If you stay in Dragon's Keep for 20 to 25 minutes, Bot Stallion will spawn at the top of the tower and you can feed her Iridium for guns. Number 44. Normally if you shoot a weapon while reviving someone, it will restart the revive bar. However, Salvador can still shoot his left gun while reviving someone. Number 45, if you use a transfusion grenade, you can actually heal Axton's turret and gauge his death trap. Number 46, the tender you see running towards the arena is actually not the one you fight. You can actually pull him back into the arena by using singularity grenades. Number 47, E-Tech shotguns can spawn with a critical hit bonus prefix. It is pointless since it cannot hit critical hits. Number 48, if you spec in a steady as she goes with Salvador, Hyperion weaponry will actually get a negative accuracy bonus. Number 49, normally you can only throw 5 sets of kunai with Sarah when spec'd into Death Blossom. 
If you spam fast enough on the final throw, you can actually throw an extra set. Number 50. If you spec in a thought lock with Maya, you can actually thought lock a surveyor and it will reach on your health. Number 51. Salvador's Monk class mod has a newspaper texture on it. The newspaper is actually a clipping from the sinking of the Titanic in 1912. Number 52. If you down a friend during a duel and they leave the game, you will receive kill skills. Number 53. Krieg does more jump damage than any other character. Number 54, jumping into a bandit tactical with a depleted love thumper will cause your saw blades to do novas. Number 55, if you spike in a silence to voices as Krieg, you can actually heal off your own shield by holding a moxie weapon. Number 56. If you are holding a grog nozzle and get in a vehicle, you can actually get the drunk effect and shoot more bullets with your car. Number 57. If you have a Tunguska, Storm, Hive, or Sword Explosion, you can shoot it and before the bullet lands, drop the weapon. This will cause friendly fire damage. Number 58. If you spec in a Discord as Gage and activate it, you can then unspec and Discord sound effects will stick around forever. Number 59, you can pick up any item from any range as long as you don't break sight of it. Number 60, you have more weapon swap speed in UVHM compared to normal in True Hunter mode. This is so that you can apply slag faster. Number 61, most sightless bandit shotguns will spin around your screen when you look straight up or straight down and aim. Number 62, if you ask for a high five from Claptrap, you can actually damage his hand. This will also break the high five sequence. Number 63, if you wear an absorb shield with Krieg, you can actually throw buzz axes at the floor and reach end rockets. Number 64, to see your total chance to apply elemental effects to enemies, just swamp away from your weapon and back. This will add any skill boost and also your badass rank. Number 65. Over at Ditch Truck Peak, no enemies resist corrosive damage. This also includes flesh targets which normally resist corrosive damage. Number 66. All weapons that pop out of geysers after beating Cromrax will be facing towards the west. Number 67, on the loading screen at Three Horns Valley, you can see a car on the main road. Upon spawning into the map, that car does not exist. This also goes for Hater's Folly. There's a normal ammo chest and no vendors on the loading screen. Upon loading in, the ammo chests are completely different and also the vendors are there. Number 68, even though the bridge to Sanctuary was destroyed during the main storyline, the bridge can still be viewed from Three Horns Divide. Number 69, if you spec in the sharing is carrying and summon Death Trap with a Love Thumper on, Death Trap can actually kill you with his Novas. Number 70, during the Tender fight, you can actually shoot the floor with splash damage around Tender and still damage him. Number 71, if you spec in a money shot with Salvador and Ran antagonist shield, enemies will money shot on their final bullet too. Number 72, you can still hit critical hits on skeletons even after they lost their head. 
Number 73, if you roll a double one on a dice chest, it will actually spawn grenades and kill you. But don't worry, getting a double one is as rare as getting a legendary, which is a double 20. Number 74, accidents, turret, gauges, death trap, and cars have no damage reduction penalty on high level to enemies. Number 75, as you may know, Goliath Blasters actually spawn with a random launcher. There is a rare chance they can spawn with an e tech launcher, legendary launcher, or even the pearlescent Tunguska launcher. Number 76, letting loot goons level up will not increase the rarity of the items you get from the chest. Number 77, if you hold the fire button, tap reload, and enter a vehicle while still holding the fire button, you will be able to shoot a gun while driving. Number 78, if you spec into sharing is carrying its spawn death trap while wearing a shield that increases max health, you will get double the health bonus. Number 79, TDR weapon throws do more damage the closer you throw them towards an enemy's critical hit area. Number 80, TDR launchers only consume one ammo per reload instead of the whole magazine like other TDR weapons. Number 81, you may think you can only find the Tina class mod in a mimic chest. If you see a small chest, open it up. There's a rare chance you can find one of them in there. Number 82. Bandit Tacticals have a rare chance to play a tune when honking. Number 83. Over at the Torg DLC, you can sometimes find a crate floating by the left of the arena entrance. Number 84. When using the Orphan Maker, you take soft damage when you shoot it. If you shoot it fast enough, you avoid taking damage from one of the shots. Number 85, running and jumping is actually 1% faster than running without jumping. Number 86, Creek Slayer of Terracom is the only one spelled with a lowercase o. Number 87, you can get a car into Overlook if you have a friend travel there from a different spot in the Highlands. Number 88, you can also do this over at Hunter's Grotto. Number 89, Death Trap does not actually have a solid hitbox to the player until you spike into sharing his carrying. Number 90, each time you spawn over a Frostburn Canyon without save quitting, a new Lisco weapon will spawn. You can do this infinitely. Number 91, upon inspection, TDR weapons display the word TDR on both sides. If you drop the weapon on the ground, you can see that sometimes the word is spelled backwards. Number 92, you can get a second wind off constructor missiles, Saturn surveyors, and Vermis babies. Number 93, there's a rare chance you can actually get crystals from a pot instead of dollar bills. Number 94, you can detonate a barrel at any time from the gunner's seat by pressing the aim button. Number 95, Axton's turret can display critical hits. However, your turret does not get any bonuses for doing so. Number 96, Axton's sentry skill does not apply to your second turret. Now you be careful, honey. Number 97, Axton's longbow skill does not increase your deploy range by 100 times, like it says on the card. It's actually increased by 180 times. 
Number 98, Axton's nuke skill can actually hit through walls. Number 99, if Death Trap gets a kill, you receive all the kill skill bonuses except for Blood Soap Shields. Number 100, even though the Rough Rider has zero capacity, Death Trap will still restore it with Buck Up. So I really do hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, like I said, this is insane. We had a huge milestone on the channel. And I couldn't have done it without you guys, so thank you everybody, like every one of you guys, so much. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be epic. And until next time, peace out.